Hi, this is Dorothy Black from the dotspot.net. And last week we spoke about uh, challenging those sex myths that keep us trapped in the dark ages and um, how to challenge them through self reflection and uh, conversation so that we can change a lot of the stereotypes that keep us there. But there's also the practical part of dealing with those stereotypes and that is uh, that starts with you getting comfortable with your body um, and that means getting comfortable with your body by yourself so that you can be comfortable with your body with someone else. So let's start with the solo stuff and for many women that can mean getting right back down to the basics and that means being willing to go down there and get comfortable with touching yourself. Masturbation is a very uncomfortable topic for a lot of young South African women to talk about but fortunately it's very private, so you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. The most important thing is that you get comfortable with yourself for yourself. Now, many women don't even know what they look like, let alone how to touch themselves. So even though it sounds crazy, the first place to start would be with a handheld mirror. Get naked, squat over the mirror, take a look at yourself or lie on your back and use the mirror to really poke around, rub around, pinch around, tap around, see what your vulva, your vagina and your clit look like. There's nothing weird or scary, is there? No, it's perfectly normal. There are different shapes, there are different colors, there are different sizes. There's like hangy lips and pokey out lips and tiny little clits and big clits. Everyone is different. Now, most pleasure in the gentle area for most women is situated around two places, the clits and the G-spot. Now, the clit, the part of the clit that you can see at least, is the tiny little bean that's usually covered by a hood. And when you get aroused, it swells up and then it gorges and kind of pops out. Now, this external part of the, the clit is only part of the clit. The rest of it kind of goes internally under your lips. And so you can massage your lips and the external part of the clit for a really great sensation. The G-spot is situated on the inside of your vagina, on the upper wall, and everybody's where it's placed in terms of the, the entrance is different for everybody. But if you basically pop your finger up, it is usually a little rough space kind of a few centimeters up from the entrance of your vagina. Um, and if you rub that and get aroused, it becomes a little bit more swollen. Now, some women believe they have a G-spot, others don't. It really all depends on your makeup. Those aren't the only two orgasms you can have. The vagina has a lot of different spaces and places where it can feel pleasure. And where you find your pleasure is what matters to you. Now, a lot of women all said that they don't actually experience orgasm through penetrative sex. And so they get their orgasms by massaging their clit, by giving constant rhythmic pressure on their clitorises. So now you know what your lady boots look like. Let's take a look at making them happy. The great thing about learning how to masturbate is that you can do it on your own time. And I would really suggest that you do because waiting for a man to one day magically give you an orgasm is going to waste a lot of time and it's probably going to make you quite unhappy. So you have all the time in the world, you have all the privacy in the world, and the best part is no one can get into your head. The great part of masturbating and being turned on when we are is that you can fantasize the world away, you can think about anything that's going to turn you on and you can get off on it. So most women find it easier when they start to masturbate to lie on their tummies and hump something like hump a pillow or a hump their mattress. Basically anything that is going to provide that pressure and that, that movement, that friction on the clitoral region. It also means that we can get lost in our fantasies without getting too worried about what we're doing with our fingers. When we start masturbating, sometimes we get hung up on technique. So this way, you're letting your hips do the moving and your hands are free to do whatever they want to do. When you start using your hands, go as slow or as fast as you need to. They're your hands. It's your vagina. You can do whatever you want. Use one hand. Use two hands. Use some lube, use saliva. Put some saliva or lube on your clit. It is so super sensitive that and your inner lips, it'll feel amazing. If you want to try out something penetrative, there's nothing wrong with taking a vegetable of your choice. You can take a carrot or a cucumber of any size you like, pop a condom over it and see what it's like to poke around inside and to see what feels good for you. And if you have the bucks, get a sex toy. But it's not just what's between your legs. Your whole body is an erogenous zone. Learn to touch yourself erotically. Your boobs, your butt, your tummy, your legs, your neck, your face. Touch yourself the way you would like your lover to touch you. 
Do you like your nipples pinched, your butt grabbed, your thighs kneaded? Do you want your earlobes pulled? Do you want your lips touched? Find out what works for you so that when you have someone, you can tell them what works for you. Just remember, you can do whatever you like. No one is watching and you don't have to tell anybody what you're doing. And if fantasizing yourself into a kind of erotic space isn't really your thing, well, use pictures, use porn, read some erotic literature, find something that's gonna like stoke that little sexy brain of yours. Remember, you don't have to talk about masturbating if you don't want to. It's as private as you want it to be. But remember, there's nothing to be ashamed about. And if you can talk about it with your friends, it means you can sh like swap ideas and share experiences. As for guys, well, you guys kind of pop out of the womb being comfortable with touching yourselves. But most of you would have gotten used to one kind of touch. And usually that's quite like frantic and urgent and quick. Maybe you would have gotten off on like one kind of porn, like one kind of visual stimulus. So my challenge to you is also to explore and to try go slower. Take your time, try different strokes, use lube, learn to build up to an orgasm by teasing, by kind of building yourself to a point and then stopping, slowing down and then building up again. I promise you, you will have a way better orgasm. Learn to play with build up and to delay your orgasm won't only prolong your pleasure, but it will build up your orgasm and make you a better lover. And if you can, try playing with your P-spot. It's called your sacred spot, and it is basically the male equivalent of the G-spot. So basically, your P-spot is your prostate gland, which means that you need to pop your finger up your bum to find it. But it's a lot more easy to find than a woman's because it's a lot more pronounced. And it'll be kind of on the upper wall, right at the base of your penis on the inside. If you can reach it and massage it while you're busy masturbating, it'll just build your orgasm and make your orgasm crazy. There are special toys you can use to reach this area a lot easier. You can probably use a whole bunch of other things. But whatever you use or buy, just make sure it has a handle or a stopper on the end. The sphincter is a very tight muscle and it will basically plop anything up there. Whatever you use to pop up your bum, make sure it is 100% clean, whether it is a toy or your finger. And if you're not sure, you can use a condom. Anal tissue is incredibly sensitive, which also means that you don't want to damage it, and it also means that you'll need to use a lot of lube. And just like with women, learn to use your entire body as a sex organ. That means touch yourself, touch your nipples, touch your thighs, touch your butt. Play with your balls. What do you like? Do you like them pulled? Do you like them held? Do you like them pushed? Do you, what do you like? If you don't know what turns you on, what you like pulled, pinched, bitten, licked, how are you going to tell your girlfriend or boyfriend to do it? Just remember, you're as entitled to your pleasure as anybody else, so there's no reason to be shy. So there you go. There's your first lesson in self-love. And remember, practice makes perfect.